uh, right here, ladies and gentlemen. Delmar is preparing for a 60-yard shot. Uh, we've got some pretty strong wind gusts that are coming through here today, but he assures me that he has trained and continues to train for this high level of competition. He's got AJ, AJ as his caller there, uh, suggesting to him exactly what the hold over might be or holding into the wind. And he's preparing to shoot his second shot here. Okay, he's drawing. Johnny gets back and now he steadies aims and makes a well executed shot. And it, it looks like it's right in there. Has the arrow twirl uh, going. Many of the top archers now do that. Uh, not recommended for the amateurs. Uh, arrow twirl is certainly an indication that someone really knows what they're doing, according to Delmar. There's another smooth shot. And they uh, good group, Doug. Okay, those looked like some well executed shots. What are the wind conditions today, Delmar? Oh, uh, wind's blowing 25 to 55 miles an hour from the northwest and east. Uh, it's blowing through the tree valley. If you can see over there, there's a cut cornfield. It gets a little slick, so it will pick up a little bit. Uh, you got to watch the trees. In the summertime, you watch the leaves. Uh, you get a good feel for it. Sometimes I watch a good mullet. If there's a mullet out there, I might watch to see where that hair is flipping, and you get a good idea which way the, the wind be blowing. I'll always walk a 3D course. I don't know if we talked about this before, but at Reading, I go down maybe a week early, and I'll take the beagles, and I'll run them through the valleys, and I'll find out where the valleys are. If it's a north valley and we got a northwest wind, well, I know it's going to be particularly windy on targets 13, 14, and 17. And when you're experiencing a crosswind of, let's say, 30 mile an hour, yeah. for the people that are watching and think, hey, this archery is pretty simple, how far into the wind do you hold at 30 mile an hour? Well, it's not always necessary to hold. Sometimes it's a lean. If I'm holding like this and we got a heavy crosswind, I bring it in like this and I'll just take my finger and just hold my arrow up just a little bit. Uh, a lot of guys will aim left and right, but if you got a gust, it'll best you up. Okay. Well, let's walk down and take a look at the group. All right. Sounds good. Okay, Delmar, I have to say, I, from a distance back there, it was really difficult to see how well that these shots went in. Yeah. But my goodness, if I walked down here and stuck them in by hand at 60 yards, I mean, it's just unbelievable. It, well, it's not unbelievable. You just watched it go down. Yes, I, I did watch it go down. And had I not seen it with my own eyes, yeah. It truly would have been unbelievable. Well, let's talk about the group for a second. Um, these are gold tip Pro 22s with an 80 green tip, vein tech, this long green fletching. Uh, and I, I, those are all smooth shots. You know, if I get a little jumpy sometimes, I can feel like they might get off a little quick. This didn't happen this time. They all felt real solid. My rhomboid slammed them together, and I saw it, and I just get in a tunnel vision. All of a sudden, Everything goes away. I don't hear any voices, and everything just kind of closes in around me, and I see just the inside of that bullseye. And when that happens, I just put my back into it, and I let the back tension control my thumb, and boom! I jump. It scared me a little bit. You saw that, but it's because that's anticipation not being there. Yes, I, I think we've all, in the archery world, heard of the surprise release and how it should surprise you and I must say it looks like you're surprised each and every time oh yeah I mean I get scared like I talked about before um, but with these three arrows what I'll do is I'll take these home and I might reflect them because I expected three Robin Hoods and it didn't necessarily happen so it's disappointing and I want to improve my game like any archer does so I'll keep cut doing this and until I get the three Robin Hood and then I'm ready for a tournament Yes, I, and in fact, in looking at this group, I would think that it's very risky to shoot them all at, all at one spot at 60 yards like this when you're packing them this tight. You have to ruin many arrows. Well, it's risky if you have to pay for your arrows. I'm a sponsored shooter, so uh, they just send me in bunches. Okay, very good.